And welcome back, Jason Liskey joining us now to talk about ways that um, we can save with a car insurance. And so, Jason, how do we really, um, you know, how do we start looking at the types of discounts that are out there? Yeah, so the great thing that I would recommend is to get in touch with your local agent, mm -hmm. um, start asking some questions because every household is going to be different, every person's different. Um, you start looking at individuals that have youthful drivers, such as mm -hmm. they've got the teenager that's just getting their license, you know, really emphasizing them having a good student discount. That's going to be a huge way to try to offset some high costs for them yeah. to as they maybe got their child that's in college, but yet maybe over 100 miles away at school. Talk mm -hmm. to your local agent to, you know, make sure to reference that because a lot of carriers will give some discounts there to then just really looking at where you're at in life mm -hmm. um, and then the agent should be able to find some discounts that fit. Yes, also certain occupations offer yes. discounts as well. Yeah, a lot of insurance companies will offer an occupational discount, um, whether you're in the military, a teacher, a fireman, or maybe a police officer. Um, so again, just kind of asking the right questions just to see. Mm. I know that um, when I was in high school, my, uh, my dad was very much like, Nicholas, you need good grades, you know, very much like you need to have those good grades. But and I didn't realize that on the one hand, you know, it was, you know, great, you know, to get into college and so on and so forth. But on the other hand, it was great for him, you know, because yes. at the time he was mm -hmm. paying for paying for that insurance. Um, so when you're um, do you know, like with the specifics of that, like the types of GPAs that people need? Yeah, or? so the for GPAs, um, they're going to look to have it be above a 3.0. Mm. So mm -hmm. you, you have to be on top of it, but it doesn't have to, you know, be over the top. And those good student discounts can range anywhere from 8 to 15%. Mm. The other nice thing, too, is not only in um, high school, but as, again, we talked about the college kids going mm -hmm. off to school or maybe staying home and going to school, they, a lot of carriers will offer it up to age 25, mm. even wow. as they're in college. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times that's when kids start paying their own rate. So mm -hmm. that's when not only education-wise does it benefit them, but also in their pocketbook it helps mm -hmm. them. For sure. Also important to think about maybe paying for vehicle insurance um, during tax season. Yes. Yeah, another great benefit a lot of insurance companies will offer if you pay in full, you know, whether you have an annual or a six-month um, semi-annual term, when you get those nice tax refunds back, you have a little extra change, uh, or po you know, change in your pocket mm -hmm. to maybe make that payment that you normally don't any other time of year. Hmm. Yeah, awesome. Um, any other things? So I know when we talk about the price of vehicle insurance, there's a wide range. So what factors kind of play into that? Yeah, so in terms of factors, you know, they're going to look at the driver's history, um, their accidents, speeding tickets, things like that, things that that person can control. Um, other factors, they'll look at the vehicle. There's some vehicles that are a lot safer and have more features than others, mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. factors in. Mm -hmm. To um, Then obviously the insurance carriers themselves, if they take on a lot of bad risks, and insure a lot of bad people with high accident rates, mm -hmm. they're going to have a high rate across the board. So, you know, again, trying to get in with a carrier that's going to maybe underwrite a little more stricter mm -hmm. to try to weed out some of the, the bad drivers. Hmm. All right, are we missing any, for any information? Oh, I think we got to. I think that the, um, uh, one of the things that I, I think that we had spoke about before was um, really like when you have kids that are in college, like, you know, for uh, like uh, ensuring the items that they have in the dorm rooms. Is that is that something that people can do or? Um, yeah, just so, you're wrong. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> nope. So, so as you mentioned, so again, as you've got the the students that go off to college and they've got mm -hmm. you know the the iMac or you know they've got different um, electronic components, absolutely to mm -hmm. have insurance on those. Mm -hmm. If we want to pivot it back to vehicle insurance, a lot of times people, whether it's a computer or maybe a purse, if it's left in the vehicle, the car gets broken into and stolen. They think it's an auto insurance claim. Mm. It actually goes back to be maybe a home or a renter's insurance oh. claim because mm. it's considered your personal property. Yeah, okay. that makes sense. So how can people get more in touch with you about um, yeah, more so, information? So um, I'm with the Liskey Insurance Agency. They can contact us at 507-387-5080. Uh, we're on Facebook or we're also online at the Liskey Insurance All right. Well, thank you so much. And we will wrap things up after thank the you. break. Stay with us.